Chapter 18 The Lord of Puttaparthi will protect you always Ishwaramma belonged to a very poor family She never used to have a paisa in her hand She was not known to have eaten rice any time in her life She always used to take ragi sankati ragi gruel That is my habit too In fact I like it most Behind the success of every great man there is his mother the noble mothers of this country with their devotion and surrender with their daily worship and prayers have been molding the personality of their children so that they blossomed into great men and women they may not possess high education and academic degrees but their character and nobility constituted their strength in fact This village of Puttaparthi has acquired great name and fame only because of the noble qualities of Ishwaramma who did not have any formal education. Unfortunately, today people are extolling the son of Ishwaramma, forgetting Ishwaramma herself. From where did this great avatar come without Ishwaramma? Therefore, one should appreciate the role of the mother and protect the honor and glory of the mother one should respect one's mother the glory of shri satya sai has spread everywhere in this way very high officials used to come to me even in those days the griham amai used to fear very much whenever someone in a police uniform came there immediately she would come home and request subama subama The police people might cause some inconvenience to Swami. Please do not allow them to come near Swami. Subama used to allay her fears saying, "They are also devotees. Everyone will come to Swami for his blessings. You need not fear them." Still, Ishwaramma would not be convinced. She used to say, "It is only because Swami is residing in your house all police people are coming." Once The Inspector General of Police Ranganaikulu came to take me to Madras. Then Grahamamai started crying inconsolably. That was the first time I was going to Madras. In those days the people of Puttaparthi used to believe that Madras was a distant foreign country. Ishwaramma heard the villagers talking among themselves. They are taking Swami to some distant foreign country. she therefore decided i will not allow them to take swami along with them i will obstruct them she also cried before me saying swami you should not go you should not go such was her motherly love and affection for swami she was always under the apprehension that people might take swami to some distant foreign land gradually people from distant places like bangalore started coming to puttaparthi and praying that swami must visit their places devotees like coffee estate sakama the maharani of mysore and the maternal uncle of the maharaja of mysore used to come here by their cars in those days people coming to puttaparthi by car had to park their cars in karnatanagepalli a village on the eastern bank of the river chitravati and walk across wading through knee deep water Once they prayed, Swami, it is becoming very difficult for us to come to this remote village and get back. You please come and stay in Mysore. We will give you a lot of land there. We will also build an ashram for you. But I firmly refused their offer, saying, I don't need your land or ashram. This land of Puttaparthi is my land. Have you not heard the saying? Janani janma bhumischa swarga da bigariyasi mother and motherland are greater than even heaven this village appears to be a tiny and remote village to you at this juncture but in course of time you will yourself observe how much this village will develop on another day sakamma prayed swami it is becoming very difficult for us to come to this village and again get back to our places there is no proper road even for our cars to come here 
it is very difficult to come to this village even by a bullock cart. Please, therefore, come to Bangalore. We will build a palatial building there for you to stay. I told her, I don't need such big buildings. This small room here is enough for me. Thus, she used to pressurize me in spite of my turning down her requests. Ishwaramma came to me that night with great tension and anxiety and requested, Swami, I observe that a number of people from far off places are coming here and requesting you to go to that place and this place. They want to take you away from here for their selfish ends. I will not survive if you leave Puttaparthi. Take, for example, the case of a plant. It is only when a sapling is nourished and nurtured in the same place where it sprouted originally that it will grow into a huge tree. If you keep that plant in one place today and transplant it in a different place after some time, how can it grow? Therefore, you please stay permanently in the village in which you were born. You may go anywhere, but never leave Puttaparthi. You promise me that you will reside here only. Then, I gave a promise to her that I would never leave Puttaparthi under any circumstances. I also told her, I will stay here only. I will just visit my devotees and come back. Later on, a mandir was built here for which Ishwarama alone was responsible. Since I made a promise to Ishwarama that day, I have not left Puttaparthi till today. Whoever he may be, one has to come to this place only. The question of my staying elsewhere does not arise at all. Today, many people are leaving their native places. One should never leave his native place. That is the principle of this avatar. If a tree that has grown in this place is uprooted and transplanted in a different place, how can it survive? This gigantic tree called Sai Baba must grow in the same place where it was born. Since I did not leave Puttaparthi and continued to stay here, this village has grown into a great spiritual center for the entire world. In fact, there is a strange story behind this village acquiring the name of Puttaparthi. There used to be a small mound housing a snake in the place where the Venugopala Swami temple is now situated. The cowherds of this village used to take their cows to the outskirts every day for grazing. But one of the cows used to somehow stay back and go near the mound. The snake in the mound would then come out and suck the milk direct from its udder without causing any harm to it. One day, some of the cowherds observed this strange scene and tried to kill the snake. They picked up a big stone and threw it on the snake while it was sucking milk from the udder of the cow. Then the snake cursed the villagers, saying, Neither the cowherds nor the cows will survive in this village. It died soon after. That is the reason why the cowherds of Puttaparthi left their village and settled in a place a little away called Gokulam. From that day onwards, the cowherds never used to sleep in the village of Puttaparthi. By evening, they would return to Gokulam. The same stone which was thrown upon the snake and killed it that day is now being worshipped in the Venugopala Swami temple. I narrated this story in order to tell you the reason for the spread of Sai Baba's glory to the entire world today and also the reason behind this village acquiring the name of Puttaparthi. This Puttaparthi has a great history behind it. This is not a name given to it casually. Several great personalities and spiritual aspirants visited this place. Several noble souls resided in this village and strove to uphold the name and fame of Puttaparthi. The Maharaja of Mysore used to visit Puttaparthi in those days. His mother was a noble and orthodox lady. She used to alight from her car at Karnata Nagepalli and walk all the way to reach this place. Thus, this village of Puttaparthi was venerated and held in high esteem 
by several great men and women. The population of Puttaparthi in those days was merely 150. Today, lakhs and lakhs of people are visiting this place. If you just have a look at it, you will observe that several high-rise buildings have come up in this small village. All the people in this village have prospered. A big university, a super speciality hospital, a planetarium and an aerodrome that cannot be found even in big cities have come up in this once remote village of Puttaparthi. <laughs> ಮಹಿಮೋನ್ನ <laughs> You have all around that place where you have all around the mysterious Chitravati going all around this village and that place which is so hospital, which is so great with Parvati Parameshwara installed over here that place full of wonder and grandeur with the very God himself incarnating in this place and a place that speaks of the greatness of emperors of Bukharayal over here and this is the place of Chaitanya awareness. Encircling which town, the sacred river of Chitravati flows in all its pristine beauty. Around which town, there are beautiful mango groves symbolizing auspiciousness. Standing guard on the four sides of which town are the deities of Parvati and Parameshwara. Firmly installed in the midst of which town is the effulgent Lord Vishnu in all his splendor. That world famous town is Puttapuram or Puttaparthi with its fresh water tank built by Chikkavudya. Standing as an everlasting monument to the glory of Bukkaraya. The great things that have been achieved by this Prashanti Nilayam during the last 50 years are not normally possible even in 500 years. Even though a number of avatars had come earlier, such great changes have not been effected in a mere 50 years time. All these works have been achieved single-handed. The glory of Prashanti Nilayam has spread to the entire world. In fact, the entire world is now in Prashanti Nilayam only. People of almost all countries in the world are coming to Prashanti Nilayam. Prashanti Nilayam itself has become a mini world. You will witness the glory of Puttaparthi further in the years to come. We are not inviting anyone to come here. We are not undertaking any propaganda about Prashanti Nilayam. Will people come by invitation? In fact, I am telling people, don't come here, don't come here. Still, they are coming from all over the world in large numbers. It is only divinity that has such power of attraction. When a flower blossoms, its fragrance spreads everywhere. Does the flower invite the bumblebee to come and suck its honey? No, no. It is only the bees that come buzzing from a long distance, rest on the flower 
and suck the honey contained in the flower. It is only because there is honey in the flowers that the bees come and rest on the flowers. Otherwise, do they perch on a plastic flower? Embodiments of love. You are really blessed souls. You are very fortunate. You have been able to spend time happily moving with Swami and singing and playing with Him. You are with Sai and Sai is with you. That is why I have been telling you always, I and you are one. No one can describe the power of divinity. He is omnipotent. His power is infinite. Hence, I would advise you to cultivate faith in God. The Lord of Puttaparthi will protect you always. He is the embodiment of compassion. He will hold your hand and take you across the ocean of samsara. He will never forsake you under any circumstances. Sai Baba ne dal ki kaalamu Puttaparthi ne dal ki kaalamu chaptu raavalan ne sankalpinchi ki nin tarati sunano. Bhagwan decided to say to tell us who Sai Baba is. what this puttaparthi is their significance kanuka deeki inta charitra enno untunnai and there's lot of history behind it tamasha kind ki peru pettukune twenty kaadu idi it is not just the name given goppa goppa varandru kudunu vachi poyaru many great people visited this place chaala mandi jamindaru ante kudunu puttaparthi vachi nichadu many rich people jamindars visited this place ee puttaparthi nivesinchi puttaparthi yokka peru pratishtanu chaala goppa ga kaapadtu vachadu and in fact the name the greatness of the puttaparthi has spread far and wide మైసూరు మహారాజా వాళ్ళు కూడా వచ్చారు మైసూరు మహారాజా విజిటెడ్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ మహారాజ తల్లి చాలా మడి మనిషి అండ్ ద మదర్ ఆఫ్ మైసూరు మహారాజా ఇస్ హైలీ ఆర్థోడాక్స్ గర్ల్ ఆ కర్ణాటక పల్లి దగ్గర కార్తికి షీ వుడ్ గెట్ డౌన్ దేర్ కర్ణాటక పల్లి దాని పైన ఉంటే ఒక పట్ట వేసుకొని అండ్ దే కీప్ కీప్ సమ్ క్లాత్ ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ ఎవరి పాదం నుంచి పెట్టనటువంటి చోట్లో ఉన్న తన పాదం పెట్టుకుంటూ నడుచుకుంటూ వచ్చింది అండ్ దే ప్లేసింగ్ హర్ ఫుట్ స్టెప్స్ ఆన్ దిస్ క్లాత్ షీ వుడ్ వాక్ అండ్ రీచ్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ ఆ విధంగా నడుచుకొని వచ్చేసి పుట్టవత్తులో చేరిపోయేటువంటి వాళ్ళు అండ్ దట్స్ హౌ పీపుల్ రీచ్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్లేస్ పుట్టబర్తి ఇట్లా అనేక మంది పెద్దల చేత పూజింపబడి వండింపబడి సాకింపబడినటువంటి ఈ పుట్టవత్తి పుట్టవత్తి హస్ బీన్ విజిటెడ్ బై వెరీ గ్రేట్ పీపుల్ పీపుల్ రిసీవ్ ద సర్వీసెస్ ఆఫ్ పుట్టవత్తి శ్రీ పుట్టపర్తి నేను కాపాడుని మిమ్మల్నిప్పుడు కరుణాకరుడు చేపట్టి మిమ్ము క్రోచును ఏ బట్టను మరవకుండా ఎరుగుము బాబా ది కంపాషనేట్ లార్డ్ ఆఫ్ పుట్టపర్తి విల్ నెవర్ గివ్ యు అప్ హి విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ యు క్యాచింగ్ హోల్డ్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ హి విల్ టేక్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ యు ఎవరీ మోమెంట్ ఈ విధంగా ఎన్నో కీర్తులు పంచింది ఇన్ ఫ్యాక్ట్ మెనీ థింగ్స్ హడ్ హ్యాపన్ ప్రేమ స్వరూపులారా ఎంబోడిమెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ మీరు నిజంగా అందరూ కూడా చాలా పుణ్యాత్ములు You are all really lucky and fortunate. You are all lucky, meritorious. 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 my message expansion is my life my life is my message expansion is my life my life is my message expansion is my life my life is my message expansion is my life no reason for love no reason for love no bad no bad no reason for ఆనంద శాంతి సత్య ఆనంద ప్రేమ సత్య ఆనంద శాంతి ధర్మ ఆనంద ప 
भक्ति साई प्रति बाबा जय 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 शिरडी साई प्रति साई प्रेम साई जय जय शिरडी साई प्रति साई प्रेम साई जय जय लव इज माय काम प्रेम इज माय ब्रेड माय जनर जीवन धन के करा मना 